The year 2020 is a leap year, which means in February we add a leap day. Why is that, though? I think most of us have a general idea what the principles are behind it. Well, one year or one trip around the sun takes about 365 days, but it's not exactly 365 days. It's just a little bit more. It's 365.2422 days. So how do we make up for that and that extra time? Well, that extra time roughly equates to about an additional six hours that is missed each year. So without a leap day, within 100 years, the calendar would be off by 24 days, which means the seasons would be thrown off every century by that 24 days. So spring would start at the end of February, which some people wouldn't mind, but it would be tough to keep track of. So the solution, add one day every four years to get the yearly average to 365.25 days. So that should solve the problem, right? Almost, but not quite. When you do the math, there is still some time left over if you did that extra quarter of a day on a yearly average. That would be 11 minutes too much each year. Not a big deal on a yearly basis, but when you start to add that up, the calendar would be off by about 18 hours within 100 years. So we got to do something that gets us a little bit closer to that, and it's another math problem. You skip a leap year if it falls on the century mark, unless that century is divisible by 400 evenly. So, 1700, 1800, 1900, not divisible by 400, but 2000 is, and in 2000, we didn't skip the leap day, but we're going to skip it in 2100, 22, and 23, but not in 2400, which gets our yearly average to 365, 2425 days, which is close, not exactly bang on to that number that we need, but close enough to live with. Three ten thousandths of a day, which means we're talking now seconds not minutes, 26 seconds too much each year, but at that rate, it would take 3,333 years to have the calendar be off by one day. We'll see how we make the adjustment then. That's why we have a leap day.